I'm feeling high. Right now, I have been spending some time just looking at some different curriculums. Um, I had some of you reach out to me with some of what you've been using and what's been working for your families and stuff. And so I did just go on to the website and download the forms that I have to turn in. And so basically right now, what I'm about to look up is how to sort of like create this education plan. And so that has to be attached and turned in with the notice of intent to homeschool so I definitely want to make sure that of course it's done right and accordingly and all of that stuff so um, and then of course I want to do it so that we kind of do have a bit of a plan obviously and a direction for how we're trying to do things so that's kind of what I'm looking at right now um, and I'm gonna be trying this butternut squash soup that I'm gonna make tonight I've never had it before I'm actually not even sure what butternut squash is supposed to taste like I found a recipe on TikTok Actually, I watched a couple of recipes on TikTok, and I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just try it. Sean said do it like to the T of the recipe to get what it's supposed to taste like, and then if I don't like it, I can go back in and to the salon <laughs> and whip it up and fix it and try to make it better. So, I don't know, we'll see how that goes um, for dinner. And yeah, happy hump day. So one of the things that I was definitely trying to take a look at was just the difference between some of these um, free curriculums versus like paid curriculums and stuff like that. So I've been seeing a lot of mixed things and a lot of different people saying that, you know, choosing your curriculum, take your time with it and, you know, kind of follow the kids lead, see what they like, what they don't like. And um, I've also seen that different people have changed their curriculums <laughs> multiple times. So basically with that being understood, I just kind of want to weigh my options and see. I know for the two littles, I'd like to find probably something a little more inexpensive or free if possible. Um, and then just incorporate a lot of our own learning styles and techniques into there because they're just kindergarten and first grade. They're smaller to do that with. Um, I probably need to get um, something a little bit different for my 7th grader and my 11th grader, obviously, um, because that may not be as easy. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm new literally to all of this, but um, you know, one reason why I've always been here in this YouTube space is to share, and so I'm going to share this process in hopes that if somebody else is out there searching and looking that this can be a help in the same way probably some of somebody else's videos um, have been a help to me too so if you're a homeschool mom and you have a particular um, uh, secular curriculum that you like or that has worked for you and your students especially if you have older students like by all means like hit me up drop me a comment DM me find me on Instagram flag me down and let me know because I'm like open right now to all suggestions and um, whatever is out there. So thank you and let's go ahead and move along with our day. So the other day I printed out the zines that are getting ready to go up in my shop and then the ones that I'm going to be using for like my um, waste bee orders. So I have a ton of these little zine sheets that I need to fold into books and there's like quite literally tons of all the different book designs. So we got a package today. You guys, I really love getting mail. Like mail that's not grown up stuff. <laughs> is really fun <clears throat> um this is for my sister she just said that she was thinking about us and the kids and for us to enjoy so we just got these little um they're like popcorns double good is that the brand i'm assuming double good is the brand so we have the little kettle that could my main cheese <laughs> that's cute like main squeeze my main cheese white cheddar go better and butter believe it 
That's really sweet of her. She's probably working right now, but I'll have to call her so that we can say thank you and let her know we received our package. I opened the door up and we're like, who the heck sent me a package? And it didn't say anything on the front of it except I guess the company of where it came from. And so I'm like, what on earth is this? So that's cool. Like I always really like getting mail. Um, mail is fun. So I just put in some oil and then I'm just going to add the onions and garlic and then I'm pretty much literally going to follow the rest of the recipe from the TikTok video and we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> dinner and the butternut squash soup it actually turned out really delicious and of course i had to garnish the top thanks for stopping by Your soup? Yeah. great well samaya don't like it as usual so i don't know she's been a vegetarian but she don't like to eat any vegetables so it's butternut squash it's butternut squash soup it's butternut squash soup I saw a recipe on TikTok. It's delicious. I mean, and we had the butternut squash in there. I mean, it's not bad. It tastes like... It tastes like curry. Why do you yeah. not like That's it? what I told Dad. I said, somebody's not going to like it because it kind of tastes like curry. That's what I thought it was at first. I was like, why do you need this curry? curry. It's butternut squash curry soup. Sauce. It's butternut squash soup. I didn't know what it was going to taste like either because I've actually never had butternut squash soup.